In my recent videos, I've gotten many comments on how I edit my photos. So in this video, I'm going to break down my editing process step by step on how I edit photos I've shot on my Sony a7C in Lightroom. This video is a little different from what I've done before. I've got a variety of photos pulled up in my Lightroom catalog. Some of them are from previous videos, some are not, but I think it's a good variety that you guys will enjoy. Now for editing, I do have Lightroom presets that I use, and they are available on my website to buy if you like what you see. Let's not waste any more time and hop right in. So the first photo we're going to be editing is actually not from one of my YouTube videos. It's from my honeymoon when I went to Cannon Beach, Oregon. Uh, but I really love this photo and I thought I would show you guys my editing process for it. Um, typically when I go in to start editing a photo, I kind of go through my Lightroom presets that I have made here. And one I've been gravitating toward the most lately is from my Hide Still In uh, Essentials version 2 preset pack. It's gold too. I use it for honestly most of my photo editing, but I love this. I love the way it makes the, the orange pop in this photo. Each of these presets I really designed to work with any kind of photo in any lighting situation. So this one, I'm probably, I don't think I actually need to do that many adjustments to it. Other than that, I want to pull up a graduated filter here from the bottom and maybe add some clarity. Let's get rid of that overlay. It just makes the light reflecting off of the sand and the water pop a little bit more. And I think I am going to adjust the contrast in here. See, there we go. That photo already looks absolutely amazing. I love the oranges. I don't think I even really need to tweak uh, in the saturation of probably the blues or the orange that dominate the photo. Moving on to the next photo, I really like this photo. It's a very simple photo of one of the lifeguard towers in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, for this photo, I really like the fade preset. I want to say gold too. I think there's a little bit too contra too much contrast to it. I really love the, the vintage look of my fade preset that it gives photos. I believe I will increase the saturation just a little bit. Now one thing you may notice from my previous videos, I shoot all of my photos in the 4x3 aspect ratio. I like doing that because it gives me room in post to adjust the crop just a little bit, and 4x3 is generally perfect for posting on social media, it's pretty close to 4x5. And I feel like 3x2 just has a little bit too much room, there's a little bit too much going on on the top and the bottom, so I think 4x3 is like the perfect middle ground. Let's increase the saturation on the blues just a little bit, not too much though. Yeah, I think that looks perfect. Right now we're moving on to a nighttime photo. This is where it gets a little bit more tricky and you have to play around with it a little bit more. Let's go ahead and just straighten that horizon level there. I think that looks good. And let's go through the presets, see what we like. Normal one, that looks pretty decent black and white this it's a vibe but I don't think it's what we're going for the fade while that could work I like how soft it and it keeps the detail in the shadows but see there we go gold too I love this preset it just makes the the street lights pop and it looks awesome now the mood it, it is interesting but I don't think it works for this photo so we're gonna go with gold too I really love this now one thing I really like to do in my photos when it has roads in it, I like to bring a brush in here and increase the clarity and the texture just a little bit. So we're going to go over this road here, see if it really makes, it doesn't look like it's making a ton of difference in this video. Let's, let's bring it up a little bit more just to see, see there we go, and it's making the, the reflection of light on the road pop just a little bit more and I absolutely love that. Now we are going to adjust the aspect ratio and just bring this down, bring a little bit more foreground of the road into the photo, and honestly I think that looks amazing. Now the next photo is from my POV street photography video that I posted back in September. Nothing about this photo is really that special, but I love the light and the way it's reflecting on the building and the fence, and we're going to check out how it looks with the presets. I feel like it looks a little too desaturated there for being like broad daylight. I like that. I like the soft look it has on the fence. 
there we are that looks that looks perfect one thing I'm not really like I'm not liking all the blues in the road now I don't want to get rid of all the blues in the sky as well so I think I'm gonna take a brush maybe desaturate that just a little bit and, oops there we go just gonna see how that works and actually I'm gonna increase the warmth of that too there we go that looks perfect I try not to have too much blue in my photos I typically like a very warm feeling to most of my photos so I think that looks pretty good I love the pop of the orange here let's see if there's anything we could maybe maybe do to adjust that just make that pop a little bit more and in return it also makes the fence pop and I think that looks fantastic now this photo is one of my favorites from my vintage photo shoot video this one's we're gonna start with gold too then we're gonna go up here it's a little little bright so we're gonna bring down the exposure just a bit probably increase the shadows it's a little too cold feeling so we're gonna bring that up and one thing I think I want to do I want to saturate that yellow a little bit more maybe increase the the luminance on it we're actually bringing yeah I think that looks good right there now I think the shadows adjusted we're gonna bring down the highlights and see how that goes now one thing I like to do is to almost give like a backlighted feeling I'll bring in a graduated filter and just increase that and that it almost looks like a little bit more sunlight is coming in and I believe it lights up and illuminates her hair a little bit more and the rest of the photo bringing more detail back in the shadows over here it makes the photo look a little warmer and just more pleasant to look at the last adjustment I am going to make is to her skin tones. We're going to bring the luminance here up a little bit. And there we go. The last thing I'm going to do is a lot of the time when I shoot with models, I will bring a brush in and increase the clarity, the texture, and then I'll make other adjustments and I'll run it through their hair just to give their hair a little bit more shine and sparkle. a little bit not much now this next photo I really love but I think we're gonna have to do a lot more work to it to make it pop and just be really eye-catching so first thing I want to do I see the highlights the Sun is hitting the leaves up here toward the top so I'm gonna bring down the exposure of the photo just a little bit then I'm gonna bring in another graduated filter I love graduated filters and then we're gonna bring up the exposure of this one a good bit. Just bring it down. I'm gonna do that. Then we're gonna subtract and we're gonna take another brush and just kind of paint out the darker, darker parts so it, it appears that the light is shining down in between the trees a bit more. See, so yeah, I think that looks amazing. We're gonna come in and see which preset we want to use. I think we're gonna start with gold too as the base, but I think I'm not really happy with the way the greens look. Greens are always really tricky, so we're gonna so we're gonna increase the saturation on that a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the luminance. See if we can make the yellows pop just a little bit. Gonna bring the green back down. I'm starting to like this photo a bit more. Uh, we're gonna come back to the road. I don't really like the way the road looks. So we're gonna bring down the saturation on it, but we're gonna increase the clarity and the texture just a little bit. Maybe bring up the temperature and just see how that is. Probably gonna bring down the exposure on the road just a little bit more. And the last thing I want to add to this photo, we're gonna bring in a radial gradient and just make the light at the end of the tunnel pop a little bit more. Now that looks awesome, but we're not done with the photo just yet. We're gonna take this photo into Photoshop and 
remove the little Switzerland sign that's right here. It's kind of distracting, doesn't really add anything to the photo. All right, so now we've got it pulled up in Photoshop. First thing we're gonna do is duplicate the layer, background copy, that works. And we're gonna make sure we have the eraser pulled up here. And we're just gonna, I'm just gonna paint the sign out. There we go, now get rid of this. And there we go, I think that is perfect. We're gonna go back here, save. And give it just a second and it'll bring that back into Lightroom. And there we have the new edit and we are ready to export it and this next photo is one of my favorite photos that I've taken in recent time. It's from the first good snow we got here in North Carolina this year. And one of my favorite things about my presets is I love the way it looks on snow photos. I love the slight bluish tint it adds to the snow. And really all we're going to do, we're going to apply gold too. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with gold too. And then I'm just going to increase the height increase the contrast a little bit more and decrease the highlights let's see how it looks when we bring down the exposure there we go that actually brings a little bit more detail through the snow on the buildings so I think that looks great I don't really need to adjust any of the saturation or anything else don't think we need any any fill any um uh, I don't think we need any graduated filters on this photo it looks pretty perfect how it is This photo is from a recent trip of mine to Philadelphia, and this one is of my wife. Now this photo is from a recent trip of mine to Philadelphia. I absolutely love this photo, it's my favorite photo from the trip. And this is where shooting in the 4x3 aspect ratio comes in, and it really helps a lot. So I can bring this back down, and I think that is perfect. I wanted to divide the photo in half basically, and be half of her, and then half of the city in the background, and I love the way this turned out. So I think for this photo, we're gonna go with my gold preset and we're gonna increase the exposure just a little bit. The tint, I'm gonna bring a little toward the magenta side. Warm it up just a tiny bit. And we are going to bring a graduated filter in and just not bring up the exposure there bring up the exposure of that, but I don't want to affect the city in the distance. And I think that looks good. I want to see a little bit more detail in her outfit though. It's a little too dark. I'm just gonna bring a brush, bring up the shadows. And I think that looks pretty good. Just bring up the magenta on it just a little bit more and I love the kind of pink hue it gives to the photo since we did shoot at dusk it just looks really nice I think that photo came out amazing now this photo absolutely love I think it has I think the contrast of the blue and the red almost has like a Kodak aerochrome look to it in a way I think it's really cool so we're gonna apply gold too Bring, out, bring down the exposure just a little bit. I love the warm yellowish, orangish hues in the shadow on the underside of the water tower. I think that just looks amazing. So we're gonna re, we're gonna crop that, bring a little bit more of the bush, the red bush back in there. And see, we're gonna straighten it up to just a little bit more. So it doesn't look like a, a leaning tower as much. There we go. And let's make the red on the bush look just a little bit more red. And a little bit more orange there. I think that looks good. Let's adjust the luminance. Just the luminance of the bush just a little bit. I think that looks perfect. 
Now the last photo we're going to edit in this video is from my last video as well, but in this one we're going to do something a little bit more. We're going to bring this down, I'm going to apply my preset. I really like that, but I don't like the color of the grass. So as you saw in my video, what I actually did, I came in, got a brush, brought down the exposure just a little bit, then I just painted the grass. Alright, so now that we have the grass painted, we're going to come in with the hue and just see if we can just make it a little bit more green. We're, oh, we're going the wrong way. There we go. Make sure we didn't miss any spots here. I saw a couple little spots that we missed. There we go. And we're just going to bring down the exposure a little bit more. Now, I'm not really a fan of in the winter when grass just kind of looks dead. I typically like my grass to look green, so I decided to do this. I think it looks pretty close as to how it would look during the summer. You just have to make sure you bring down the exposure as well if you're going to add this green color in because then it's going to look too bright and fake. Last thing we're going to do here in this photo is just adjust the red. Just make that pop a little bit more. We're going to come in. I think we're going to straighten it up a bit too since it looks a little crooked. I typically don't turn on profile corrections because I like to keep the moodier look and when you turn on profile corrections it will typically get rid of a lot of the vignetting in the corners and I generally like the vignetting. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I've really streamlined my editing process with these presets I've made. I can edit a photo in no time, and one preset generally works for all type of photos as well. As you saw in this video, I used my Gold 2 preset for most of my photos. That's kind of become my go-to standard preset for pretty much all of my photos, and at this point you can kind of just assume most of my photos are edited with my Gold 2 preset. So the point of this video was not necessarily to promote my preset packs, but to show you guys how quick my editing process is and how I don't really spend that much time editing photos anymore unless the photo just really needs a whole lot of work. But I hope there was something you could take away from this video in my editing process that might help improve yours. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It helps me grow and continue to reach more people, so it means a lot to me. Uh, go out, shoot, have a great day.